The most exciting thing for me, though, in the last year has been WebAssembly. This is a headline from InfoWorld just the other week um, and a cool kind of uh, op art, is that pop art uh, version of browser logos. Um, no Brave there yet. WebAssembly started from Asm.js, and this is important. It wasn't just that it started from something that was emerging uh, among several browser implementers. Asm.js actually was always in JS. I always had put the, the shift operators and the bitwise operators in there. There was always this ability to cast to integer types, to do things that could be efficiently compiled almost to a safe assembly code. Um, it got discovered in the course of uh, Alon Zakai building him scripting to compile you know, games, basically cross-compile C++ games to the web. And then it got formalized with Dave Herman and uh, got implemented super fast by Luke Wagner at Mozilla. And then Microsoft got it, they did it too. So it was this rolling stone of building on some DNA that was always there in JavaScript and then thinking about how to you know, self-mutate, how to extend that DNA in, in short hops from where it is today. And that led to the idea of WebAssembly, which is now happening in all four major browser vendors. Um, they're working on GitHub. They're working in a community group in the W3C. There is a, a project in each of these engines to do WebAssembly as a native input type. WebAssembly is just another syntax for JavaScript at first. It's really a syntax for just the ASM.js subset. But over time, it can grow and diverge. So it becomes a fast way of loading binary code that is safe, quick, self-verifying code that can do things that JavaScript can't. So at some point, WebAssembly becomes the safe native format for the web. Um, and you know, the, the InfoWorld headline was a little bit cautious, saying may come. I think it's, it's clear there will be WebAssembly in Experimental or Nightly or Canary tech preview releases this year. Uh, there's a syntax for it if you want to look at it. This is not how you load it. It's, it's a binary syntax. It's a very efficient bitwise encoding of abstract syntax trees, parse trees. But if you want to look at it in a debugger, it's nice to have something that looks like Lisp. So this is my revenge on being told to make it look like Java when I was doing JavaScript in 10 days. Um, and it, it is Unix in the sense that it's, it's this minimal sort of safe native format. It's like Unix, which Windows has become equivalent to co-expressive with in its kernel semantics. That's really good news.